Hey guys, I'm Ridge. I'm part of the Worship Initiative team. Uh, and today I want to continue to talk about main stage. So in the last video, what we did is we created our own soft piano sound from just the stock uh, main stage sounds that they give us. Um, and this template, again, will be available to download with all of the sounds that we are making uh, and all of the sounds that I'm going to be talking about. Um, but let's just jump right in. So whenever you first open this template, on the left side, what you're going to see um, is three folders. Um, in this video, we are only going to be talking about the first folder called Stock Sounds. Um, and whenever you open this folder, there's seven sounds in here, and these are all sounds that I have made um, with only Mainstage or Apple-provided uh, sounds. Um, so this first one, this is the one that we made in the previous video, the soft piano, um, and this is what that one sounds like. Again, that's just, it's so soft. Um, we added that reverb on there. Um, this is, this was my go-to sound for many years until I started using third-party plugins. Um, moving on to the soft pad. Um, this is the first ever pad that I've ever made inside of Mainstage. Um, and I've kept it over the years of using Mainstage as my number one pad sound. Um, and this is what that one sounds like. Yeah, so that's, that's uh, it's kind of a, a darker tone in this pad. Um, and if you're not careful, it can get very muddy if you're playing down here. There's a lot of bass in it. Um, there's a lot of really low frequencies that, um, that don't play well together. Um, so usually whenever I'm playing this pad, I do play it up in the higher octaves. Uh, so moving on to this third sound, this is the second pad I've ever made inside a main stage. Um, this one, I'm calling it a sine pad. I'm pretty sure I don't even use a sine wave in it, um, but I'm just calling it a sine pad for some strange reason uh, that is unknown to me to this day. But this is what that one sounds like. Um, so this one, um, the harder you play the keys, um, the more aggressive the sound is going to be. So if I, if I slam on those chords, you're going to hear a lot of grit coming through. So usually whenever I'm playing this pad uh, in these intimate, smaller settings, uh, I play so very lightly on the keys that, um, that it theoretically shouldn't even make a sound, but it does. and it gives you such a softer sound. Um, it's easy on the ears, and you can kind of see it being used in, uh, in those more intimate settings, uh, in those services. Now, the next pad is called uh, the aggressive pad. I included this for a specific reason. Um, whenever you need a really low pad, it's hard to get a pad that is not uh, muddy if you haven't put in the work to make it not muddy, if that makes any sense. Um, so I don't play this one up in the higher octaves because it sounds so bright. Um, I only play this one kind of down here for those um, for the bigger moments in the more intimate services. Um, and that's all that I've ever used it for. Um, there's probably so many more uses uh, that could come out of this pad, especially whenever you're not in uh, a smaller worship environment. Um, like if I'm playing on a Sunday, this would kind of be my 
main go-to pad for those big choruses that, uh, and those big bridges because um, it really opens up whenever you play in those higher octaves. But moving on, I have three uh, road sounds that I've made. Um, I say that I've made them. Really, I've just found them because um, I haven't uh, I haven't messed with these at all, except for this third one where I've added uh, a pad, but I'll get into that later. So this first one, I'm calling it the Worship Roads. This is uh, a suitcase uh, electric piano, um, and this is what that sounds like. Um, I'm using a suitcase uh, because I kind of wanted to model this one after um, a lot of Hillsong records, uh, and they are notorious for using uh, suitcase electric pianos. So there's there's not a lot uh, a lot of that time bell that they that a lot of these roads have. Um, I turned that one mostly all the way down in here. Um, but then moving on to the lounge roads, I have no clue why I called it the lounge roads. These are all sounds that I've made like eight years ago. Um, this one, I believe, is yeah, it's a stage electric piano. Um, this is what that one sounds like. So you can hear there's a lot more bell in that. Um, and I, I typically use this one for the bigger, uh, bigger moments where I don't want to sound so muddy um, along with the pad. Um, so electric pianos, they're, they're in those low frequencies where it could clash with the, the drone pad or whatever, or whatever pad that you have going. Um, so I use this one to open up the electric pianos. Just like that. And I've never had any issues with this. This is kind of my go-to electric piano. And then this last sound I want to talk about is the Deluxe Rhodes. So this one, you can already tell from just by looking at the EQ, that this one's a little bit different from the past two. Um, and I've also thrown on uh, the, the, um, the sign pad. It's called the, the verb pad in here, because I think um, that was what I had it called for a little while. Um, but it, this one's thick for a reason. This is a Deluxe Classic electric piano. Um, and whenever I'm not able to use my drone pad or, um, or any other pads with this sound, uh, I throw in that verb pad just for that reason. But whenever I don't want to have on uh, a, a pad with this, the low frequencies uh, and the resonances uh, from this piano um, often act as its own pad. So you can see that's a pretty thick sound. It, it almost sounds like you're playing with a bass guitar, um, and that's kind of what I intended this for. So it has a pretty thick low end, and then throwing on this pad with it. It's kind of a kind of a one-man band kind of patch right there. Um, you have your low end, you have uh, that pad that fills in the empty space, and then you have your main, you know, chords up there. So that's really all I wanted to talk about today. All of these sounds are sounds that I made within main stage with only main stage sounds, um, and I used these for so many years before bringing in any third-party plugins. And these were my go-to sounds. Um, so if you have any questions about this template, any of the sounds that I've made, um, please feel free to click the button in the lower right-hand corner of the website, and I will be happy to help you with anything that you may need. Um, but I hope this was a help to you. Until I see you next time, blessings.